iZombie Season 4, Episode 2, Blue Bloody. This episode I definitely think was entertaining. Um, Living this episode I think is... I mean, obviously it's only episode two, but I think this is definitely really funny with her being like the super uptight middle-aged rich lady and everyone, you know, in the beginning, I love how they were, it was like, you know, everyone's like, oh, she was so nice and this and that. And then of course, Clive just the whole episode just had to deal with being called stupid and just, you know, all the crazy hair, which I think was probably the funniest, just the whole episode of hair was like in that one style. It's just weird. But I definitely love the way that that was played out. And then... There's a lot of stuff that went on around the main up this, the main uh, storyline for this one too that I think is gonna have huge impacts going forward. Like we had the you know by the time we get to the end of the main mission, we have basically uh, Liv and Major stopping you know their you know their casual relationship that they have right now. So that kind of tore them apart a little bit, which you know that's always some weird little bit of tension between them. And now things are going to be you know, way different because before it was like, okay, you know, it's that bit of tension and what are we going to do here? What are we going to do there? Now they're kind of set in, you know, what's going to happen. Like the thing with Major was always like, where's his character going next? And now he's kind of in that set position. He's like the leader to these kids, one of which freaks out in this episode and that gets filmed. So we don't even see that come back into play um, in this episode. So of course that's going to come up you know, fairly soon, if not in the very next episode. So He's going to be dealing with that. And then we have the stuff going on with Blaine's dad, which I still can't remember his name, but him being like the, the crazy prophet and everything. And he's throwing out like little bits of brains, like his bubble gum. And I just don't know where that's headed. Like, that's just going to be a huge issue. Like he ends up attacking people who are like selling brains on the black market. So he kills all those people off. And it's like, he's going to start a revolt within the city. And who knows what that means? If they're actually, if they succeed, they'll break out. If they fail, then it could kind of go back to normal but also if it just starts up in general it might be like well which they reference in the first episode oh you know it's a good thing that the humans are trapped in here because otherwise the city would be bombed that could have been you know beginning of the season foreshadowing where that could become like a legitimate threat towards the end of the season so if it is that it would totally make sense that this whole crazy zombie prophet thing is exactly how that would play out and he's you know hyped up on this priest brain and he's just insane in general from being in that well for all that time so i don't know where that's headed exactly but my main thing is i'm assuming he's just gonna rally a bunch of zombies and they're gonna just go crazy and start trying to eat everybody so that should be pretty nuts and of course that will involve major and him trying to protect you know other humans and stuff like that so that'll be really insane and i, I don't know there's just a lot of you know the side stories i think were really cool in this where it's like all right i'm excited to see where pretty much all this stuff is headed so definitely enjoyed that like i said the main story itself was just really silly um even stuff with clive like his little side story was definitely funny i don't you know that didn't excite me as much as the other stories but it was definitely funny like him um it was i think it was anti-anxiety uh, medication where it you know, lowers your libido because it's like well we can't do anything because i don't want to become uh, a zombie so it was definitely funny but you know that was really good and then just in general it was just a, as usual a silly crazy episode and just the way it starts out where this woman gets killed by um, a golf ball gun and you know the way they have it where clap is like you know maybe it was a golf ball gun and they, it's like you know he's so crazy and stuff and then it's like how about that it's it's a golf ball gun so love the way the whole thing was played out and it was interesting kind of going through the process of figuring out which of these people um actually ended up killing this woman so i was like all right that was kind of cool and then even when they find that solution they you know it's like we solved the murder it's like okay well now we know why this woman did it let's try you know to figure something out let's at least you know even though it's totally illegal let's try to you know protect this woman's uh son and you know send him off to his dad so i thought that was really cool i was like all right that's interesting and of course that's what leads to the um breakup of the casual relationship between Liv and major so it was definitely interesting. I was like, okay. And then, you know, that was like the first time we really saw that. So I feel like that won't be the last time just because it's kind of a big deal. It might be like, maybe they'll try to, you know, get Peyton out of there once things get really crazy with Blaine's dad. I feel like that's an easy way to kind of bring that back and then they get busted and, you know, that just gets super chaotic. So definitely looking forward to some of the smaller things that showed up in this episode. I'm like, I feel like a lot of this could easily come back in, you know, really huge moments. And obviously the profit thing is like, basically a main storyline in itself so looking forward to that for sure but all in all another really funny episode really really silly with live on this you know lady's brain and just how rude she was next episode i'm definitely looking forward to where she's gotta you know go piece by piece with this brain so i think it'll be interesting uh depending on how they do it 
where it'll be her on the brain and then she, because it's such a tiny piece i think she'll be kind of back and forth throughout you know the entire episode it'll be you know live on the brain and then just live herself so that's something i don't think we've actually seen before is either she hasn't been on it or you know they kind of do it without visions you know we don't actually see them or anything like that but i don't think they've done it where it's been you know kind of back and forth i, I know they did it like one other time but i think they had like it was something where it was like a little bit but I don't think it was as drastic as this. So I'm definitely looking forward to exactly how that's going to play out. And it seems like it is that back and forth. Like she's on the brain and then she'll kind of go off and be herself. And then she's on the brain again, which is like a party brain. So I'm curious how that's going to play out. Um, one of the guest actors in the next episode is, I want to say his name was Sam Huntington, I believe. The guy where she's like squeezing his face and stuff. Um, excited to see him in it uh, because he's in, he used to be in a show called Being Human. So I, I love that show, which actually was totally supernatural based where he was actually a werewolf in that. Great show. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It, well, the US version I've seen, it was on sci-fi. Tried to watch the British version and then like a week after I was like, oh, I should watch that again or, you know, try to get into it. And Netflix was like, yeah, we got rid of that last week. So that was very unfortunate. All that time I was there, I was trying to watch it. But anyway, really like that actor so i'm excited to see him in the show i don't know if they'll make any references to being human and you know talk about werewolves but i would love that because i love that show but it's cool to see him in there um i like him as an actor in general because he's been in some other stuff he was in this old movie called detroit rock city that i loved um but yeah next week should be a pretty cool episode obviously this one's just really silly not much on blaine but a lot on his dad so that should be something too because obviously he doesn't know his dad's back which is really crazy because um he's like you know going through the streets tossing out bits of brain like candy so i'm like huh that's interesting he's you know got the speaker and you know everyone in his car and everything so i would assume considering how he's playing it i don't think blaine is going to be you know out of the loop for too much longer i would expect him to know like within the next two or three episodes he's got to know like his dad is out of that well and plus um his buddy's been gone it's been who knows how many days since that actually happened and he's just you know kind of up and vanished so blaine's got to be looking for the guy so that has to be i, I would hope that it's in the next episode because it can't be you know four episodes later and it's like he's finally looking for this guy it's like that just seems a little weird and, and you know he just not finds his dad so i'm hoping within the next excuse me like the next two episodes he figures it out and even that's you know already reaching the three episodes in itself because he got let free in the last one so you know it won't be that big of a deal but it's like that should I mean, he's in the streets like blaine should be able to figure that out pretty fast but looking forward to the next one like i said i really enjoyed this one but of course definitely want to know what you guys thought about it so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it least favorite parts about it and with everything that they have going on with blaine's dad which i really wish i could remember his name instead of just saying it's blaine's dad um i would love to know your predictions on exactly how that's going to play out because that picked up way faster than i thought like that was a big chunk of this episode and he's like i said in the streets just getting you know getting kids and rallying them to his cause and i was like that grew way faster than i thought it was going to i thought it would take a little bit before it even got to the point where it's at now but just by the end they they go out as a swarm and start killing off all the black market people and i'm like well that was super fast i thought that would i thought that would take like three or four episodes and they're right on top of that so i would love to know your predictions on how that's going to play out how quickly things are going to get you know super chaotic so I, I just want to know what you guys, you know, predict for that and just what you guys want to see from that crazy storyline. And of course, want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.